Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley, and welcome to my channel. Let's talk about Bruges Lace Crochet. So Bruges Lace is a crochet technique that's made from, um, it's inspired by Belgian lace. It is very, very easy though, so don't let it fool you. Just because it says Bruges Lace, it is still crochet. And this was my second book uh, with Annie's, Learn Bruges Lace, and I have some of projects here, but I wanna introduce you to the concept. So Bruges Lace is made out of tapes that you then crochet together, like crochet as you go. Now these tapes are generally made out of double crochets, and then they usually have loops on either side, and you can increase and decrease, you can make arcs and circles and all sorts of shapes, but the main components for Bruges Lace are double crochets and chains, so you totally can do this. So let me show you a few projects. So this scarf, the pea pod scarf, for example, I have right here. So this is the back, this is the front. So the pea pod scarf, it's a regular traditional motif. And then there's this tape or ribbon that goes on the side. And so this Bruges lace inspired ribbon is the tape. It's also called a tape that you easily make with double crochets and chain spaces. And it's teeny, teeny little short rows. So for this one, it's only a row of three stitches plus then the chains on the side. Very, very easy. But it makes a really kind of eye-catching project. So this blanket I have right here. So this is a big Bruges lace square motif. So here's the tape, and then inserted a um, little motif flower here in the middle, and then these squares are joined together here and here. And then the border, this is the Bruges lace and a traditional Bruges lace tape for the border. So the Bruges lace, that's a blanket, but there's a ton of things that you can do with Bruges lace. Here's a hat, here's the tapes going sideways another tape here. So lots of interesting and fun ways to use Bruges lace crochet, but it's all very basic stitches. Basic stitches meaning double crochets and chains mostly. So let's do just a little bit of Bruges lace. Oh, I have one more to show you and then we'll get started. Bruges, this is a Bruges lace table runner. And so what I have here are a couple of different tapes that are then crocheted to each other. So this is a long, long three long pieces <clears throat> made this way. And then the second piece is made this way, joined onto the first one and then turned and back. And then the third one is done in a similar fashion. So it's crocheted and as it's worked, it's joined to the previous tape and then it goes around and back up. So you can turn like this in Bruges lace, but it's long, it can be long panels, it can be serpentine panels, it can be anything, but it's all made up of these elements of tapes. Now these tapes are solid rows and then like a fillet row with some spacing alternated. So solid spaces, solid spaces. And then this one, the spaces are just in a different spot. Can you see the tape there? And Theo has just jumped up on the table, so he needs to get down. Hello. Hello, Theo. <laughs> okay. So let's take a moment to crochet a small beginning Bruges lace tape. I did place a knot in the end of this yarn because it was kind of coming untwisted, and that annoys me a bit. So I did put a knot in that yarn, but I don't normally do that. This yarn is Cascade Boliviana. I don't know if it's a, a current yarn for them, but I found it in my stash and loved this color, so I thought I'd give it a try. So Bruges Lace often starts with a chain of like nine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the first Several chains become the first chain space on the side. So I'm going to skip one, two, three, four, five chains, and I'm going to double crochet in the sixth chain from the hook. 
So those skipped stitches, those skipped chains become the first uh, chain five space on the side of row one. So grab double crocheting in each of the rest of the four remaining chains so that I have one row complete after this double crochet. So one row is complete. I have four double crochets, one, two, three, four, plus a chain five space on the side. Now that chain five space is um, the side of the tape, and that is where I will join more units or motifs or edging or whatever into that spot later. Now to turn, we're going to chain one, two, three, four, five. This is a basic tape. So if you're gonna do a Bruges lace pattern, you're gonna to need to follow the pattern for the instructions. But chain five is what I'm doing today as a basic example. <laughs> well, hello there, Theo. I think I need to get Theo off the table here. Bye, Theo. And then we turn and work back, skipping these beginning five chains that become the loop for the side. So this is the most basic of tapes, but really you'll see, um, you'll see this technique in Russian um, magazines. They're extremely intricate and winding and beautiful. Um, so fascinating, but it's all these basic stitches. So if you can just figure out how they're all put together by reading the symbol diagrams, you can make them too. But this is just an introduction to Bruges lace with the most basic of ribbons or tapes. So I'm finishing up uh, row three now with four double crochets. So you can see we have one, two, three rows, one, two, three, chain five side loops. And we will just do one or two more rows just so that you can see it. I know you, some of you wish my videos were just a little bit longer so that you could see how it stacks up. Three, four, five, and turn. Skipping those first five chains, double crochet in the first double crochet of the previous row. Now, because these rows are so, so short, um, it's reversible. So we're turning in rows and we can see right side, wrong side, but it really doesn't matter. So we're gonna chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and turn, skipping those first five double crochet, first five chains, double crocheting one in each of the remaining four double crochets. And you can see how quickly and easily these tapes begin to build. And that's why Bruges lace is so addictive because it's so easy to say, oh, just one more row, just one more row. And then before you know it, you've got this long serpentine piece and um, you get to decide what to do with it. Now you can do it like a mile a minute Afghan where you're like putting these long pieces together. I wanted to just give you a basic beginner introduction to Bruges Lace Crochet. So my book, um, Learn Bruges Lace, is on my website, ellengormley.com. If you're interested, message me, find my website, and uh, we'll go from there. I wanna give a shout out today to Tina G and Vanessa M. Hello, thank you so much for joining me. That has been our introduction to Bruges Lace Crochet.